Abigail Joyce Williams, Abigail Joyce Williams, Abigail Joyce Williams, President Future, Visible and Invisible, for what we want to know. And we want to know, did she see who killed her and Liberty? How did the murder occur? Is there a specific piece of evidence to help solve the crime? Jesus, I can't see that. And did you see anything around you, like any surroundings? Because uh, they said they were brought and placed in the place they found them. Okay. Did you see any surroundings in the four woods hidden and hidden behind darkness? And the God of the Saints will reveal the answers to my questions. Here we go. That's what's weird. I don't feel any presence. Scary, man. Hmm. All right, first two coming out for Abigail Joyce Williams. <laughs> the, the, the answer to your question is right there. It says fear of loss or fear to lose again, new beginning. Born again. She's born again. <laughs> there it is right there. Let's see. Maybe she won't answer because she can't. Let's see what happens here. It's been five years, so she would still be a kid. Um, crossed over. Let's see. It says, fruit of the good things coming for this person. And then it says, it's true what I'm saying. <laughs> Born again. It says, no justice was ever found. No justice. So saying no justice from the past. Um, in other words, killed but no justice. It says, no hardship. Presently. It says, and no delays. Everything moving as should be. No love. It says, but energy and health. So she's just starting out. No opportunities for love. Like no, no, no love there. It says, no more past. It says, world upside down in the future, which makes sense because anybody who's going to their future. And then it says, no good and bad yet, death. So this was who she was, and that was completed. Interesting. So let me explain to you guys what's going on. So I told Tony, because they were so young when they died, that it could be possible that they've already been reincarnated or come back to be born again. Um, and then when I started doing the cards, I didn't really feel anything, um, how can I put it? There's this tingling, incredible sensation that I get when another spirit is present. And it'll answer me within my cards. It'll also answer me in my dreams. I'll feel it. It'll be around me. I didn't really feel much. Uh, when I threw Abigail's, uh, Abigail Williams cards. And then the first two cards that come out say <laughs> they're afraid to lose their new beginning. Like afraid for anything to be said or done or, but they still would be very young. It says new beginning, uh, could be, that also means birth. And then it says, and across that, or they could be dead and being ready to be, be coming in or going to be born. It says, cause there's good things that are waiting for them. And then it talks about, it's true what I'm saying. It says in their past life, it talks about no justice. And then it says right now, no hardship. Like there's no more problems. And then it says something that starts coming quickly. And then it talks about not any opportunities for love yet. In other words, still too young, still maybe not here, but no opportunities for love. But the energy is there. It talks about the energy and everything or the health is all there. Like like fresh, like brand new. It's clean. Probably like an embryo or something. Could be. Could be waiting to be born. I mean, that we're going to find out. We're going to throw crazy. on it. That's um, crazy. <laughs> But that's why it's saying afraid of loss. Like if she's about to be born or about to be come back or she's already here, there's some fear. It says no more past. Like it doesn't have to worry about the past. It says the world was upside down. Like everything was upside down. It says no good or bad in death. Like there's no no good or bad, you're dead. You know what I mean? Um, and then it says and death to completions. Like that everything was completed. And then it talks about what may be hidden or what may be clear. So that might be an interesting card at the very end. It's the last card. So may, that may come out as to um, what maybe we need to know, if we're going to get that, or what's clear. So it's interesting the way those cards came out. Like, they couldn't come out any fucking crazier. Here we go. First two coming out. So here we go. We're going to see what comes out of this. Uh, so it talks about the fear of loss or fear of not being born or fear of new, not having a new beginning. Um, which is interesting. It says, there's a child. <laughs> Holy shit. So, uh, child upside down that's gifted. 
This is crazy. Um, it says nothing magical yet. And then it says, unfortunate though, it says that they're not going to be able to see the things that they could have saw. So this child's barely not, I don't think this child's here. It says, and then it turns out to be a girl that's upside down. Um, so the parent of this person is actually a young girl, which is interesting. Um, <laughs> this is crazy. So we kind of caught this in a weirder time. Maybe, maybe we might get something better from Liberty because right now this one's already coming back. So this must have been a pretty innocent child. It says, there's fruit on the tree or good things that are coming. It says, impatience with what's coming. It says, a woman who stands on her own two feet, who returns to money. And then it talks about um, not discontent, not unhappy. It says, but feels alone. So um, this is a girl that um, is having a child. She's a little bit younger. Um, not really young, but she, she makes okay money and she's having a kid. And it's talking about she's alone right now while she's having this kid. So someone who was in a relationship with either they broke up or she got pregnant, but, but she makes decent money. Um, and then it talks about, which is weird, we're in a whole different Holy genre of reading. Like, so if, right. if, if, you, if you guys are understanding what's going on here, I'm trying to read the death of someone, but this child is coming back. So this is an a off-the-wall kind of reading. Because this child's about to be born, uh, reincarnated. And I had a feeling, uh, but we get to finally see it in the cards, which is really kind of cool. Um, it doesn't help us with the murder case, but I don't know if Liberty, um, Liberty German, who was the other girl, um, if she may not have be back yet and maybe we get something from her. But right now we're getting what's coming with this one. We may get something, I'm kind of hoping, uh, but I, it looks like from the beginning they're kind of scared uh, that this might jeopardize them. So I don't know why that would be. It says, which is interesting, it's true what I'm saying. It says, um, spirituality that's upside down. And then it says, so not spiritual yet. It says, but coming, everything's coming. And then it says, um, not to be a fool again, not to be a fool this time. It says, because things were incomplete. So kind of talking about it, hoping we get there. It says, but they know karma is going to get that person. So th this is the mindset that's coming out. Let's see. It says, no hardship right now. Of course, there's no hardship when you're pregnant unless, I mean, when you're a baby or about to be born. It says, afraid of destruction or being brought to their knees. It says, but hoping for lots of opportunities. It's This is crazy. Uh, it says, in the right place at the right time. And then it says, only hoping that the man is there at the end so the man loves her again. So kind of knows what's going on. I guess they say kids know what's going on within the stomach. I think it's true. Yeah. Um, I totally think it's true because they listen to music. They get they come out with different they be things. Kicking and all that. Yeah. Um, it says with no delay. It says the sun didn't shine. It says, but there were no other problems. It says a friendship that went upside down. It said, and God was upside down with it as well. It says. Interesting. We're getting somewhere, I think. Yeah, we're starting to get a little bit from maybe she's starting to break a little bit. Um, but it kind of says, um, what's crazy, I don't think she's coming back as a girl. Um, what's crazy is that it's kind of saying uh, this was something that was unattainable, like something that's unattainable, like un ununderstandable, unimaginable, an unimaginable event. Um, it's kind of saying um, not opportunities for love right now. It says no more depression. It says free. Free to start again. Free will. It says, not sure what road they're going to go down. It says, I'm not, not able to master anything quite yet. It says, but in search of what is true love. Not knowing true love. Not understanding what true love is. So coming back to find. And I, and I think, and I honestly think, guys, if you're spiritual with me and you understand me, I believe that God's biggest mission and purpose is for us to find some type of unconditional love in our lives. Whether it's with the person we love, whether it's with People in general, uh, as far as, and I don't mean that in a sexual way, but I mean like uh, the act of serving or giving or helping or changing lives. Uh, I think that's a big thing. So finding unconditional love is what I think the biggest, uh, one of the biggest keys are for God uh, for you to move forward in your life or for you to move forward into the next realm. Um, it says the energy is good. It talks about the energy. It says where there's no problems. It says, and the road's wide open. It says, in broken heart, it says, comes rest. It says, but not, so it's talking about, so it's talking about a man 
who breaks the hearts. And then it says, for sure, a man who wasn't angry. So not an angry man, but maybe... Um, so someone that tried to like lure them in. So. Right. He, he didn't... He didn't kind of push them around. She's she's starting to talk. He didn't really push them around or he didn't, he wasn't mean with them at first or anything. He kind of was very easy to get along with, like was able to talk to them. And, like, but, hey, what are you doing here? But it was, yeah, kind of like that, kind of, kind of comfortable, but kind of weird. I said, oh, we should, we should go over here. And, and that, maybe that's what came out of the tape. I don't know. But talking to them about, like, hey, we, should, we should go here. It's pretty cool over here or something like that, um, is what I'm getting. Um, interesting. Um, dark hair though, dark features. Didn't they say in the video that they heard someone say down the hill? That's from one of the recordings. The recordings right? Yeah, one of the recordings, but they're not sure what they meant by that. But here's a guy again with the sword. And so that's why I'm saying, I'm not saying they were killed with a knife. <laughs> I don't know that yet. Um, but this is, this represents the angry man, but saying didn't act angry, like, you know, kind of lured him in. He, in other words, with kids, you don't want to make them afraid. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, not that I'm... He tried to be their friends in order to... Yeah, he tried to, tried to manipulate the situation. It says, but no more past. You don't want to worry about the past. It says, and the past was evil. There you go. It says, the past was evil. It says, it turned over, it turned upside down their whole life, their whole house. Everything changed in that moment. Um, it says, and there was no end to watching the suffering. So the parents must have suffered quite a bit. Um, because she's saying they turned over, turned upside down their whole house. So I don't know if the parents are still together or not, which would be interesting to find out because when a house turns upside down like that and there's children that are lost or whatever, um, nine out of 10, I wouldn't say nine out of 10, maybe seven out of 10 times, I think the people yes. fall apart. Yeah. Because one will grieve more than the other. Or one can never let go or, and it gets really difficult. A good point of that was, um, that movie, um, collateral beauty. That was, that movie represents a lot of that because that, he couldn't let go. He was stuck. All right, let's see. So it's saying, that's what it's saying about the past. Then it says, uh, it actually says a girl that wasn't angry, a woman that wasn't angry. Um, so it could be a girl, it could be a girl, but this is saying a woman that wasn't angry. So I'm trying to figure out what that meant with all this. Could they have been lured by two? No, I don't think there's two people. But it's, it's interesting how this works. So let's see where that comes in. Or maybe not angry. Maybe not angry anymore. Let's see. I'm sure they were angry. It says, the world upside down. Talks about something that happened quickly. There's my card reading it. And then it says, again, a decision that was made. It says, in weakness. So I would think, and, and of course, my mind isn't the same as other people's, but I would think that your weakness would be, if you're a pedophile, would be what? Children. children. If you're a uh, rapist, it would be women or children. I mean, depending on what you're, you know, just, which. Just a sexual. Act. But that's that's mm -hmm. talking about their weakness. That's the weakness. So this was done at. So this might have been like, hey, this guy was walking, going for a hike, and here come two <laughs> little girls, and. It triggered him. It triggered him. Like, oh shit, there's nobody. He looked around. Nobody's around. You know what I mean? Kind of, kind of. Like that, the perfect scenario for. Our for someone like right, that. right in the open, like could have pulled them to anywhere, you know, or lured them to anywhere where nobody would could see them. Uh, so definitely saying that. And then comes, which is funny, is as the story is coming out, it's talking about luring them. It talks about death. Um, it says, no good or bad. It says death to completion, uh, which I think is really um, pretty direct and kind of harsh, right? It says this is what cut off their head. It says, upside down in nature, like by being out, so this is just talking about nature because this is uh, the Empress, Mother Earth, the whole nine yards talking about nature. They're out in nature out on a hike. It says, upside down in nature, it says, and now not happy. It says, again, a woman, by their mom, their mom, and it talks about telling them to be careful or to watch out or be careful of obstacles. So reminded that, you know, her mom told her, like, don't talk to certain people, don't do certain things. Um, and there's the regret that pops up in the cards. The last card is what's interesting because this could mean something that's hidden if I put it down that way, but it was a cross, or this could mean um, that things become very clear. If I put it down as to what's hidden, it's going to tell me 
what's hidden. If I turn it, put it down as what's clear, it may clear things up. Your guys' call. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, man. I'm just telling because it's a cross card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, usually hidden could tell us some stuff that some people, you know, some good clues. But could also talk about her in general. You know what I mean? But clear could probably clear things out of what people are missing. I don't know. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go with hidden. You're gonna go with hidden. Okay, we're gonna turn it this way. So we want to see what's hidden. So this is with Abigail, again, Abby Williams, or Joyce uh, Williams, um, died uh, February 13th, 2017. And we're trying to find out if we can get some information about the killer. She kind of didn't want to talk about it at the very beginning because she's on return. I know that might sound crazy to a lot of you, but this is where people were reincarnated come back. Pretty innocent as a child, really not a lot of things on her. Uh, so definitely got a chance to come back and do it again and um, fulfill her life. So here we go. Hidden card. Yes. Hidden card. It says we're defenseless. So there was no defense. They couldn't defend themselves. This is what's hidden. They couldn't they couldn't fight them off. There was no defense. So two kids, they could probably go running. Must have been whatever happened, had to be strong enough to hold them down, both of them. You know what I mean? It says Upside down, so it talks about a woman upside down. He's bringing up a woman. It says, um, wasn't their lover, woman upside down. Oh, here's what's crazy. Is that in one of the stories that Michelle tells me about, she tells me about a woman that was raped, right? Raped and killed. Oh, yeah. One of those by Philip friends. Eldridge. Well, I don't know why that keeps playing in my mind. Philip Eldridge was the guy who was wanted for rape and murder of a woman that was and, 26 years old or something. Yeah, like that was 26 years old. And he was, he ended up, ended up finding him, barricaded himself in a hotel, and then he ended up taking his own life. Peter Ed Edder. Paul Edder. There you Paul go. Paul Edder. No, I didn't think it was. That's another person Paul. of interest. Yeah. Paul <laughs> Edder. Yeah, that's another person of interest. But, but, but describing this person, why? Because it's talking about. He has no justification, no defense. Oh, yeah, Paul Edder, person of Paul interest, Edder, there you died go. by suicide. Okay. So Paul Edder was a guy who, there's no, he has no just, no no reason, no, there's no justification for turning up a girl upside down who wasn't even his lover, it says. Okay? And then it says, and that turned him upside down. There, There's him upside down now. And then it says, triumph in the end. In other words, he took his own life. Triumphs in the end. That's what's kind of scary here. Is that if it's talking about this guy, could it be the same guy? What if he did go and commit? He was out there that same day, committed that murder. And he's, I mean, he already had committed murder once. And here's like a handful of things. What was the name of the guy that was on? He's the guy they have arrested? The guy that's on the bridge? That's no, well, they have someone else arrested. It's like John Allen or something like that. But okay, so who was the guy on the bridge? <laughs> I don't know. That's just, that's just one of the tips they have. We should see if we can find the picture. Of Paul Edler, or Edler, or whatever his name is. It's kind of interesting, because it's describing a whole different scenario. She's kind of describing a scenario, um, which is interesting. And the only way that she could possibly know about that scenario, being 13, is if he passed, and she was still passed at the time. Because those two spirits would cross. Trust and believe. It says... Talks about money, but no money. It says money, but no money. And then it says... But no change. Still talking about him. Money, but it's wanting money, but no money. And then it says no change, no more battles, no triumph. So I don't know if he was trying to lure kids to, you know, take them or something, or I don't know. It says maybe to sell them because, you know, there's a lot of trafficking going on. Um, even back then it was already started. So maybe that was part of it. It says um, something that comes, a celebration that comes that has burden on its back. It says... And then those are the three things it talks about, things that worked out. It says, but no family yet. I'm talking about her coming back. So she's talking about coming back. She just drops it all and talks about coming back. The celebration that comes as burden on her back. And then it talks about um, the things that have to work out first. Because right now she doesn't have a family. And that's what she kind of said in the very beginning. Let me see. What picture is that? That's Paul Edder. I didn't want to show you until after, man. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Um, 
And then it says returns to love. So she's talking about being born again. Really, I've never, I've never had the opportunity to actually read this while it's happening. Having dreams and stuff is one thing, but to actually read someone being about to be reincarnated who doesn't want to speak is is, is new to me. Because <laughs> I think pretty cool. I think when you're coming back, this is what I honestly believe, guys. When you're coming back, even while you're in, you know, your mom's stomach or whatever, um, you still know who you were. It's not until you see the light again and everything changes where you're very vulnerable that the mindset changes and then that becomes part of the subconscious. And then I think people start all over again. So that's kind of where we're at with this. I don't know what you want to do, Tony. Um, it gave us a few specifics of a person. Uh, but then again, there's a lot of people have done stuff because the death card isn't in that card. So it could be someone that was violated. It could be someone else. This guy that you're talking about that they have arrested... I just don't see it. And that's for the, I don't see it. And, and the I would have to throw his cards. And, and then, why haven't we thrown his cards? Well, I wanted to start off with the girls because they're the oh, ones, okay. they're the main. So should we do another girl read? Because this one. Okay, we we'll do the other girl. Because if there's nothing on these, they're just gonna get wiped out really quick. Well, but I'm but curious to see where it goes. They also had like the evidence that they had, like they they hit a lot of evidence too. Like the police didn't want to release a lot of the information, details, stuff like that. So. They're being yeah, real. but it's been five years. That's true. It's been five years and they haven't released this information. At this point, is it that they're not releasing it or they're covering something up? Because they haven't really... I didn't really see anything about the way they died either. Right. And all they have is just John Allen or whatever. It is. They hit like a gun or something he had with... I don't know. It's just, that's pretty much what I've seen. Nothing all crazy. Yeah. What's up to you guys? I mean, to me, I thought this was strange. Because we were just talking about it. And when I said five years, I thought, so they're young. I mean, everything started clicking to me. They're young. They died early. They could either come back or if there was something they didn't fulfill. They had to come back. Um, 13 gives you enough time to kind of have a few little things on you. Nothing really major. Uh, but maybe that's what they wanted to finish off their life. Um, so that's interesting. The fact that it caught it in the first two cards is really interesting. Uh, but at least um, we got a little bit of information I'm kind of curious to see what Liberty's going to say. I don't know what you guys think. I know a lot of people want to do it.